Cannabis industry has made it very clear that they are not interested in prevention, they are interested in profit. Strong words from State Representative Lauren Davis, who is proposing two bills this legislative session. Right now, buyers pay a 37% excise tax on cannabis products. The first bill would raise that as much as 65% on products with at least 60% impotency. It also requires warning labels for those products and prohibits the sales to anyone under 25. Research study after research study, particularly in the last several years, uh, with showing that these products cause psychotic disorder, uh, particularly in individuals under the age of 25. The second bill prohibits selling cannabis concentrates with a THC concentration greater than 35 percent, unless it's for medical use. Despite this push for more regulations on high potency products, there's opposition. The industry is subject to rigorous standards for safety, for testing, for advertising to make sure that the products that we sell are safe. That's Vicki Christofferson with the Washington Canna Business Association. She opposed the bills at a public hearing earlier this month. Retail stores in this state, those that are regulated by the LCB, have an over 95% compliance rate on sales to children. We do not want people that are not eligible to receive our products to get it, and we will work on any policies that will help us do that. Representative Davis says both bills are not scheduled for executive session as of this weekend. That means the bills won't move forward if they're not scheduled by this Friday. Reporting for King 5 News, I'm Brady Wakayama.